Good evening everyone. Welcome back to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology. And in this video lecture, I'm going to talk about the difference between two very important DNA repair mechanism, nucleotide excision repair as well as base excision repair, also known as NER and BER. So let's look at the difference between nucleotide excision repair as well as base excision repair. So let's begin with it. So first of all, let's talk about the base excision repair and then we'll talk about the nucleotide excision repair mechanism. And then we uh, talk about the difference between both the type of repair mechanisms in details. So first of all, why we need base excision repair and why we need nucleotide excision repair in separate repair mechanisms? Because base excision repair is uh, the one where uh, if any erroneous base is added during uh, the polymerization of DNA, then a single base change, a single base cleaved out can help the process. But sometimes when uh, two, three different bases are modified, let's say for example of UV radiation, two bases can be linked together to form a dimer, like a formation of thymine dimer. In those situations, we need to remove not only a single base, but also that bulge out of the DNA. So in base excision repair, we literally cut out a single base and then place with a normal DNA base, then fix the damage. While in nucleotide excision repair, we actually cut a chunk of the DNA which forms a bulge and mismatch out of the DNA. We cut it out, then we fill the gap and then we seal the neck with the help of respective enzymes. So let's talk about the base excision repair. The base excision repair begins with when there is a damaged base. So we're talking about a single damaged base. We can talk about a, uh, a base which is erroneous, which is added in a wrong way. For example, presence of U in a DNA. Uracil should not be present in a DNA. It should be present in RNA. So presence of uracil or any modified base of adenine or modified base of cytosin may lead to this kind of damaging and that damage need to be cleaved out. And that's why uh, for example, bases like hypoxanthine, xanthine, those are something modified version of the base. So presence of those unusual bases is the alarm for turning on the base excision repair. And then what happens, the very first step is involving a characteristic unique enzyme for base excision repair known as DNA glycosylase. DNA glycosylase is an enzyme that can cleave out the base without destroying the phosphodiester backbone. So as a result of which you can see in this picture that this is the place where the uracil base was there. So base is cleaved out although the phosphodiester backbone is kept intact. So then it comes with a second enzyme known as AP endonuclease because as this place is uh, apurinated or ap apyruminated, either of this. So this is known as AP site, apurinated site or apyruminated site, in this case apurinated site. So in this site, AP endonuclease is an enzyme uh, that cuts this phosphodiester backbone and it will remove the sugar phosphate from the backbone. So as a result of which we have now only one base gap. Now that gap needs to be filled by DNA polymerase enzyme by proper nucleotide. As we can see in the complementary DNA strand we have a G. So in this gap we should place a C. So that's what the C is doing. So C is present as a nucleotide and DNA polymerase now use this C to put it in the place and then DNA ligase will seal the nick in both the ends and as a result of which the process of base excision repair completes there. Now the nucleotide excision repair starts with uh, forming pyrimidine dimer. So this can be a kind of uh, modification, okay? Modification not only in the single nucleotide, but modification in multiple nucleotides together. So in this case, uh, formation of pyrimidine dimer. Generally, the, the thymine dimer is very common due to UV exposure. So as a result of which, uh, they form a bulge in the DNA. So excision nucleases are the primary enzyme to act here. There is no DNA glycosylase, it's only excision nuclease. That will not only cleave that bulge portions out, but also it cleaves a stretch of 10, 15, 20 nucleotide sequence out of the faulty DNA strand. It will cut that out. Because they imagine if there is any kind of UV radiation, any kind of radiation or chemical damage to the DNA, that might affect many other nucleotides as well. So they cleave uh, a set of nucleotides from this place and afterward 
the DNA helicase is utilized to remove uh, that cleaved strand of the DNA. So that leads to formation of huge gap in the DNA. In contrast, in base excision repair, there is only gap of one nucleotide that we can see here. But in this case, there is a gap of multi-stretch nucleotide sequence. And then, uh, in this case, uh, DNA polymerase as well as DNA ligase will do the job. Polymerase will fill the gap and DNA ligase will seal uh, the knee. Generally, this gap is from 10 to 12 nucleotide and sometimes even more. But this sweet 12 nucleotide gap is filled by polymerase and then uh, that knee is sealed by uh, DNA ligase and that's how the process is done that's how it ends at its end okay so that's how the nucleotide excision repair works so in base excision repair only removal of a single nucleotide in nucleotide excision repair nu removal of a stretch in base excision repair the primary enzyme at DNA glycosylase well in nucleotide excision repair it's excision nuclease and DNA helicase playing the role in base excision repair it's only about changing the mismatch or erroneous nucleotide while in nucleotide excision repair it's repairing the damaged DNA or modified versions of the nucleotides due to radiations and other chemical mutagens. So that's all about the nucleotide excision repair and base excision repair and the difference between base excision repair as well as nucleotide excision repair. So if you like this video about the base excision repair and nucleotide excision repair difference, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to my channel to get more and more videos like that. Thank you everyone.